Hi, this is Shadi. I've discussed Kendo in the past. I've talked about its grappling. I showed a lot of pins like side control or Yoko, Shiho, Gatame and throws. So today I've stumbled upon more footage of throwing and striking that sheds a lot of light on how Kendo used to be. So the footage was actually from the Haga Dojo or the Haga School of Kendo which practices pre-World War II Kendo. Some of that footage actually made it to the Empty Mind films that I shared the last time. So today I'll share a little bit more and of course more police Kendo where you see far more uh, foot sweeping. So uh, I've shown this uh, before. This is from the Empty Minds trailer. You can see with like that with like a Teiwaza or hand technique where you wheel your opponent forward and you can get them to the ground where you take control. This is your Uki Otoshi, the first technique in the Nage no Kata or the form of throws in Judo. Um, it doesn't have to be sleeve and lapel, obviously. It can be done with a headlock and an arm grip. As you saw the Kendoka doing it, uh, the point is to, with your hands, wheel them forward. It's a Teiwaza. Now here you can see you are wheeling them over their own knee by blocking it as they charge forward. So this is a Hiza Guruma. Hiza means knee and Guruma means wheel. So it's a knee wheel. You are wheeling them over the knee. And as they are charging, you really don't need to do Kuzushi or unbalance them since their momentum is going forward uh, towards you. Now, the next one, I cannot share this enough. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is an Ashi Harai or foot sweep uh, police kendo tournament where you can actually foot sweep them and continue to strike the men for an Ippon. Uh, I don't believe the foot sweep uh, in and of itself is an Ippon, so he had to finish off with a strike. So the reason why foot sweeps can be very useful for a kendoka, it's because of the stance. This is from the National Kendo Instruction. It's a book uh, from, I believe, the 1930s. You can see that the stance, uh, the feet are somewhat close to each other and you have one uh, that's in front of the other, which is perfect for uh, foot sweeps. The closer they are, the better. It's not so much like a judo stance where, yes, one foot is in front, but the stance is somewhat wider. You can see like the black uh, feet on the left. You can see that they are in front of each other and somewhat narrow, almost forming a straight line, which would be perfect for Ashi Harai or foot sweeping. So here you can see this one grabs a headlock as they are closer. He tries to bring his opponent forward, hooking the leg forward, and then tries to go with them uh, backwards, as in alternating between Ochigari and Uchimata. Now, Ochigari is where you throw your opponent backwards by inner reaping their leg. You can hook and reap and throw them forward while backwards, I'm sorry, while Uchimata, you throw them forward. But they have one thing in common, which is reaping from the inside of the leg hence they are so interchangeable as techniques the great Kosei Inoue used this as a tactic where he actually threatens with a very serious Ochigari which was one of his best techniques not just the Uchimata and as they brace forward to protect or defend against the Ochigari here you see Jang uh, hunching forward as he saw the threat of Ochigari and so Inoue turned the other side and turned it into an Uchimata and that's what you saw the Kendoka was trying to do. He locked the head with his arm and then tried to go either backward and then forward depending on what his opponent is giving him in terms of uh, balance and uh, reaction. So here you see Jank completely fell for it. This was the 1999 World Championships. Inoue scores a Yuko. Here is another example of Nicholas Gill where he was trying to go over Inoue's back. He threatens with Ochigari. You see Nicholas Gill goes all the way forward and look at his leg going forward and so he turned it around to Uchimata. This was from the 2003 World Championship, the semi-finals I believe between Kosei Inoue and Nicholas Gill. Let's see it one more time. Here he braces forward to protect 
or defend against going backwards from Ochigari, but it turns to Uchimata. Now, here, let's see uh, some of the strikes that you actually do not see in Kendo today. This is my Geri, like a front kick. You can see the, I would say, the nature of the strikes is very much different than the tactical combat sports oriented Kendo of today. Um, you can see they strike with one hand. They have another format of randori, which is a sh short sword shinai and a long sword shinai or uchi katana shinai. You can see the intensity is also very different. This is again from the Haga Dojo. I will leave a link in the description for the for their YouTube channel. So here you can see again, it's very much intense. It is very combative, uh, not so much. Uh, point oriented or ippon oriented and here you can see the stabs how you can back someone to a corner now we often talk about the cage and how we back someone into them we do uh, striking and clinching and here you can see khabib doing takedowns from it using it uh, greatly in his throughout his career to block them and really uh, limit their options whether to grapple on the ground or grapple standing up so here you can see old kendo did that as well now here let's see this uh, uh, demonstration of pre world War. i believe this is 1950s uh, kendo uh, it's called kendo you asked for it the episode you can see the constant uh, attempt for foot sweeps by the kendoka here you can see more he tries to foot sweep the guy loses his balance attacks while he is on the ground and so you can see how this Kendo, it used to be far more intense, far more technical. They had far more options uh, of attacks. Now it is the strikes only, no legs allowed unless it's police Kendo, I believe. And here you can see a takedown in the black and white uh, footage. Uh, and also side control and stuff. I will leave the first... Uh, video that I've made linked towards the end so you can watch it and see the groundwork not only of Kendo but also Tenen Rishin Ryu which I covered in my previous video but this one I wanted to show more the intensity of the strikes and the nature of the Randori before uh, World War II before Kendo got banned and then it was revived as an educational uh, tool I would say and see how much it had to offer in the past so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below please consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content only i post there once a week and please don't forget to check out the links in the description this was shady thank you for listening